Well, I've come out today and try to do a little bit of a vlog, but it is so windy I can't get anything to stand up basically. I was hoping to do one of this lone tree here and some of the other trees in this little area. But sadly I I'm having trouble to stand up because it is blowing a hoolie, so I'll keep the images and I'll keep this little bit and I'll attach it to the vlog when I come back on a less windy day. Well, hello guys. I tell you what, it's a long time since I did any of this. It seems to be months and months and months, and years in fact. I used to have a nice little channel, growing nicely. Then one day I just got the ump and I, I got fed up with it and I sold all my gear and I, I, I had a wobbly, you might say. Well, podgy snappers back. Today, I've come up onto Exmoor, a quiet part of Exmoor where you don't get all the tourists. And I come across these trees. There are several trees in this little vicinity. And I'm going to have a go at doing a vlog. And I'm totally out of practice with this. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing really. It takes more longer to set up than it do to take the picture. What we're going for is this nice little foreground, I would say like a stunted oak tree with a with a with um a silver birch in the distance to give it some depth and some separation. Um I'm gonna be shooting, I'll have to look at my big camera for this. I'm shooting at 160 anyway, eyes are 100 and uh, a spot in the middle. I got me two second timer on, but it's a glorious day. I've done a bit of drone footage. I'm happy, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in my comfort zone today. The, the wife, and I've only had to walk, what, 50, 25 yards from the car, which, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've got lovely woodland and fields around me. It's absolutely superb. The only thing missing is a cream tea. But anyway, Paul W. Baker Photography, link above somewhere put me up to this sort of thing. I watched it, one of his videos and I thought, well, if Paul can do it, so can I, because Paul's in a similar situation to me. Don't walk so well. And, but I'm hoping that I don't break anything. I know Paul breaks quite a lot, but I'm hoping not to break anything today. I usually end up breaking cheap glasses. Um, right. Well, what else do you want to know? Podgy snapper I is, you. I wasn't born in Devon, but I talked proper you. Um, I'm, go I'm going to say shoot this little oak tree here uh, um, with, the, with the silver birch in the distance. Whoops, go keep going out of frame, you're going to die. When you fold over. Ground is quite sodden. Quite sodden the nice. ground. Let's do a little audio check. So I'm going to tip you up. <laughs> One, two, three, yep, that's working. Right, we're back again. You can't see what I've got in the back of the camera here, I don't think. But your camera's levelled up. And you know what I'm shooting. Okay, I've got the pocket, my little pocket, DJI pocket out. 
and I'm not sure you can actually see what's happening in the back of the camera there but uh, that's that's what I'm seeing a bit blue for me I might have to de-aze it a little bit clothes I had some beautiful clothes here the other day but god it was so windy I couldn't take a picture at all I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing here half the time get back in frame oh <laughs> I've had the drone up, as I say. There's gorses, the gorse is coming out in flower lovely now. I suppose the obvious choice would be to go on to another location. But um, I bet doing that today, you. I got me, I, I'm thinking about a cream tea. It's a lovely day and I'm thinking about a cream tea. Anyway, from me, Paul G, this is a very brief, and I mean, a, oh, oh, hell spells. <laughs> Break me neck here. Me, Podgy, this is a very brief trial run to see how I get on. Turn that one off. Um, I quite like this tree. I think it's a lovely little tree. You, you'll be able to see me struggling across here. I can't find a leading line anywhere, which is really annoying. But I'm going to have another little look in a minute from a different angle, perhaps come to the other side of this tree and get in a bit tighter um, there's some lovely moss on the bark there um, some of the, not, not too much debris around on the I can get in quite tight there and I still got me leading I am going to lead in line that's a trouble I know leading line a couple of co-pats I have to watch where I walk but, um, I'm going to turn this off for the moment and then have a good I'm going to have a good scout around and see if I can find something else here because there's, there's got to be something here with all these trees about. This used to be covered in a lot, heck of a lot of brown bracken and, and the like. Um, you're a little exposed here if you want to have a pee, or shall I say for the ladies a wee, um, but there is some, some cover here. And uh, I'm not that far away from, you remember that port, that celebrity, Johnny Kingdom, that sadly got killed in his JCB a few, not so many years ago. Well, I'm not too far away from where Johnny used to have his hide and he did a lot of photography. Nice chap, old Johnny. He was a really nice chap. A time for people he did. Anyway, I'll catch you all in a bit. You know, as Paul W. Baker would say, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. To be able to get out and in the sunshine and there's a farmer doing something down in the field there, it's bloody lovely. Anyway, you don't want to listen to me waffling, do you, boy? Oh, boy, I'll go. I'm calling you boy now. So, right, over and out for the moment. Right, guys. Took a bit of finding. But I've come across now to the base of the oak tree. I'm, I'm sure it's oak. And I'm going to take another shot here. I'm, I've zoomed in on the area, just around this area where there's a lot of bark, uh, moss growing on the, on the tree. Um, it's quite interesting this. And well, I've got some separation because the little trees in the background. And I'm going to shoot this. And you don't want, really want to know, but I'll tell you just for somebody to fill time. But um, we're shooting on uh, F-16 because I want the, f the tree in the far distance to be in focus. And that's a thirtieth of a second. Um, whew, eyes are 100. And it's coming in a little on the light side, so I'm just going to alter that. Oh, I don't know. We've got a two second timer once again. And I've, I've got this, can you see me there? Yep. This branch here that goes this way is sort of framing the tree in the distance. There's a lot of gorse in the foreground, which might give it a bit of colour. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. But um, that's my second shot for the day. And I've enjoyed myself. I've got out and now I'm going to go and I've got the camping cooker and everything. So I'm going to go and put... I made a cup of tea, you. I've got to make a nice cup of tea and have a bit of a slice of cake. Where have I heard that? Oh, bloody words of gummies, wasn't it, years ago? 
you'd have to look that one up if you were a lot younger than me, Wurzel Gummidge, a TV programme. Anyway, I'm going to have another little mooch in a minute, see if I can get up the top there by that old dead tree. Um, I don't really want to fall in it Copa, I've got one just here in front of me. But from me, as Paul would say, fantastic. <laughs> Sorry Paul, you've been very good to me. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't always be giving you stick just because you shoot with a, what is it, a Z8? I don't know what that is, but it's a Z8 anyway. Um, I know where I is with my Canon, Canon, oh, as Paul would say, Canon, give me a call. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't help myself, can I, Paul? Um, right, so from me, again, podgy snapper, I've done this one, I might, it's clouding over a bit in the distance, I might put the big lens on, I might not, I might save that for another day. Um, wind's coming up again, because there's a, a bit of a, a, a misty, cloudy bit coming in, uh, but uh, I'm going, I, I think I've had enough today, I'm getting a bit chill around the neck here. But it was beautiful earlier. Definitely come back to this spot and uh, see what we can find again uh, from another place as, uh, as uh, the year progresses. Right, that's enough, isn't it, you? Right, you all stay safe out there, live dangerous, and uh, don't do anything. Well, do what you like, really. No fun, life's boring if you don't misbehave, isn't it? You know, I don't know if I got this thing on um, facial recognition or not. I could be, always, I could be just a blur, can I? Right. Over now. Take care. Bye.